Okay, everybody, I know uh, it, the video cut out when I was doing Batman's uh, board game, you know, when I was you know, reviewing Batman's board game, last one, the glow-in-the-dark one, but uh, forget about that one, I said enough about that game. Uh, here's the Fat Albert board game, it's about time, uh, and then there's more others. There's the Fat Albert board game, now the Fat Albert board game I told you about, you're just going to be going around the game board, trying to find... Uh, get the gang together. You're gonna collect the cards. So let's just say, for example, you're Fat Albert, right? Well, hey, hey, hey. Guess what? You gotta... Fat Albert's gotta collect all the characters, you know, of the gang. You know, and then make it back to the home... Uh, or just be the first one to collect all of the um, characters first. And that's basically it. So you're gonna be going around this board doing that collecting cards wherever you stop on a blue space or a red space um you gotta either give away a card or take a card from the top of the deck and uh, you'll be going all over um fat albert's town there and that's basically it so that's the fat albert board game all right so next game is the mcdonald's game so now the the mcdonald's board game here you're gonna be going around the board and using these marbles now, uh, the players um, who serves the fastest wins the points. And uh, whenever you land on a space here on the board, you're just going to be basically just doing what it says and uh, following directions. And then uh, during the um, event of the game, you're going to be giving out an order. Um, you'll be placing an order. And uh, you're going to have to say please at the end of the order and remember everything that you're going to be um you know trying to make up for the person that just placed that order in the game <clears throat> so for example like um you'll you'll be using uh this uh mcdonald's thing with the marbles and stuff and uh you'll be reading the menu so before reading the menu you gotta make sure the other players have their marbles handy in this game and um you're gonna have to um be ready to serve and be prepared to draw food cards from the racks that you get in here. And um, as you're trying to, you know, you know, make the orders right and correct for the customers, uh, you, you, other people are going to be doing the same thing all around the whole time of the game, playing the game. You're going to be reading the menu clearly and only order those items that are called for in red printing. So on the cards here... You know, you'll you'll get um different auto cards, and uh, you know this is an example of the menu card. If somebody's ordered, they ordered one hamburger, French fries, chocolate shake, and cheeseburger, and double the order. I feel hungry, please. So you'll have to you know double the order and remember to do so. Because if not, you'll lose points in the game, and you know you'll not gonna um do that great i mean unfortunately i had uh i had my friends come over one time and we were playing this game and they came over all you know um they, they must have had a few and stuff so um i said please don't come over here if you're gonna be like that and they uh decided to play the game a little bit inebriated and it all ended up in a fight in the game because um somebody didn't place the order right and correctly and they didn't make the order right so uh then and, and and the guy and, and and the guy didn't say please so he didn't say please. So then, you know, he decided to uh, break the bottle of the guy's head. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That, that didn't happen. That would never happen. My my um, show is great. And uh, so are my friends. They play fair and squarely. So don't worry about that. I'm only kidding. Uh, now, next thing, game you're going to be getting... <laughs> oh, God. Is uh, the full house board game. All right? And... You're going to be um, going around the neighborhood. And um, it's a quick, fast, and easy game to play. It's really, really cool. You got com comical joke cards that... Um, that uh, Uncle Jesse says in the game. So, uh, you know, um, Uncle Jesse's going to... Not Uncle Jesse. Un Uncle Joey. Un I'm sorry. Uncle Joey cards. I mean, it says it right there. Joey joke card. <laughs> you're going to be getting these car play marker movers and go around the board and you'll be running errands and trying to, you know, take, you know, the girls or the characters out, you know, um, around the neighborhood 
you know, doing different things, either picking them up from school or so it's like you're you're a chauffeur or like you're um a taxi cab driver or something like that. And uh this is the board here, you'd be going around the board. So really cool, fun game, full house. And uh you gotta tell a jo a Joey joke. Uh stop and go back two spaces, whatever. You start here. Joey Joe cards go there. You're gonna take it to the mall, T V studio, stuff like that. So the player's gonna roll a dice basically and uh and the die and move around the amount of space it's showing a die. And then the players may move any direction along the paths. Player can also share spaces and exact roles are not needed to move into a neighborhood space. So, um, as an example, um, you know, like if you need three, you, you need three to get into the mall or a, a roll of four, you may still go into the mall. Uh, when players reach neighborhoods, you know, the, the, uh, they could draw the top card from the stack and then uh, park their car playing piece on top of the stack. And uh, if, if the card has a direction on it, written on it of what to do, the player must immediately follow the directions. So that it turns over in all directions and must be followed. So it's pretty cool. Um, players can also pick or take a card, a character card from another player. And uh, players show the card to all the other players and then um, proceeds to choose one of the face down cards from the other player, from any other player. And then um, if the player chooses a card, he or she already already has, the card should be returned to the player and the turn is over. So you could take taxis to the mall, you know, to the cable car, to the park, you know, and you must roll exact numbers. And uh, that's basically it. The opposite of the game is you got to just travel around the neighborhood um, along along the, the board, collecting six members of the family and bringing them back home safely for, um, you know, the remainder of the game. And that's basically full house. So that's the full house game. Um, another cool game is, uh, I know, don't, don't be scared, all of a sudden, boom, you just see, like, this, you know, uh, character of this person's face. She never looked like that in real life, believe me, even if they made a character of her. Uh, and that, that person is, God bless and may she rest in peace, the Wendy's lady, uh, what the heck's her name again? Oh, jeez. Um, Clara Peller, Clara Peller is the name, yeah, that's right, um, so, uh, where's the beef board game? You gotta be the first player to find all four beef patties, so you'll be shuffling these beef patties, and all these other, um, you know, different kinds of food that you'll be getting at the fast food joint here, you're gonna pick a player marker in a color to be, roll these dice across the board, and, uh, wow, seven, cool, I'm always getting lucky seven, man, I should really play for fun, or, you know, for money or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a good dice roller. And you're going to be um, trying to find all the beef patties. But you're first, you're going to need to find um, a, a pass. You know, a worker pass to be able to go through all the rooms and go in the back to the brown spaces here. Or the dark red spaces. And then you can go in the back of the, um, you know, the kitchen counter there. And go spelunking around to see if you can find the beef. Where's the beef? Okay, and then uh, that's basically it. But this this game they call it Big Bun instead of Where's the Beef. So, and then that's basically it. You just gotta um you know find it, and then but sometimes you could switch a player could switch out to see um where they could you know hide the beef patties if they get a card or, or a certain token that says uh, switch with any beef patties or something like that. And that's basically it. That's Where's the Beef game. First person to find all four beef patties wins. Fun, cool game I love to play a lot is uh, Piranha Panic. Now, in Piranha Panic, you got to race to escape the feeding frenzy. Also in French. Cool. So, in this game... Uh, wow, 24, 25 bucks a KB back in the day. I paid $2 at the thrift shop for this. <laughs> I didn't know board games were even expensive back then, too. Wow. So basically, that's what you're going to be doing. You're just going to be racing up top. Uh, it's a slippery race upstream, okay, uh, while you try to get the other players hooked and eaten. So, But watch out, okay? Those hungry piranhas are ready to attack at the top of the ramp here, and any which way they can, they're going to eat you. So who will survive? So each player is going to get uh, three fish marbles, right? And then uh, they're going to roll a die to determine... Um, 
you know, uh, it, it, you know what, what to do. And uh, the die is going to tell you when to let the piranhas loose. And, um, you know, you're going to roll a die to move your fish. And then the first player to get your fish, to get their fish um, to safety up top wins. So, and that that's basically it. That's piranha panic. But you got to watch out because it's fish flipping frantic action while these piranhas are going to eat up your... You know, your marble fishes going upstream here, and they can pop out at any given moment when you pull that crank down. It's like a slot machine or something like that. And then uh, they're all gonna and like pop up, and all the, the, the marbles gonna fall down, and some of them are gonna get caught. So it's it's really it's a really cool, fun game that's Piranha Panic. Now, the next cool game that I like to play is uh, the Powerpuff Girls game. Okay, now in the Powerpuff Girls game. You're going to have to be going around the board uh, fighting crime before bedtime, okay? And how do you do that? Well, simple. Um, you're just going to be drawing cards and uh, trying to get them. So you get these cards here with your missions and stuff. And sometimes there'll be event cards of what to do. And you also be timed. You have these time on here. So you may have to go back and forth. And then you get these um, these villain tokens here that might do something bad and wrong to you. Like trap you or... Roll one heart or, you know, more to capture the cat, okay? And stuff like that, you know? And you're going to have, like, different events and stuff to do in the game. But um, all you're going to do, you're going you're gonna to put all the tiles face down the board, okay? And uh, it's a big board, so hold on a second. All right, so there we go here. You're going to have um, all the tiles on the board. And uh, you're going to put all the tiles face down the board. In the, and then you're going to deal out five cards to each player. All right, so um, all those tiles face down in different space on the board are going to be used up. Uh, and then um, each player is going to get five cards. So you're going to put down two cards in front of uh, yourselves. And uh, based on the, the, the time and the cards, you're, at, you're, you're going to try to match the time on the card to look on the space with a tile on it, night and day. So, and then you get like dice symbols. You know, you're going to, you know, you know what the dice symbols are. You know, like, uh, you get, like, one heart, two hearts. You're defeated and stuff like that. But it's a really cool, fun game. You're just going to be going on the board, fighting up the bad guys and, you know, girls, whatever. And then, you know, all before bedtime. And that's the Powerpuff Girls board game. My friends, another cool game. The Tick, Hip, Deep, and Evil game. Spoon! Da, 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 da. Now, in this game, this game is really cool. You're going to be going on the board, just fighting crime as usual, but there's going to be different things you have to do. And on each corner, if you land on them, you got to do different objectives and stuff, which uh, either help you in the game or help you lose in the game. <laughs> but how can losing be any help? Well, in this game, the object of, the game, of this game, you're going to be collecting as many good guy and bad guy tokens as possible so you can have the highest score. Uh, two players play... 18 rounds in the final battle, and then three and four players play 12 rounds and in the final battle. So, um, that, that's basically it. You're going to get, like, timed in, you know, what is alarm clock, timer, and stuff like that, and then you're just going to be going on the board trying to, you know, you're either gaining points or losing points. That's the real nitty-gritty basics of the game, and, uh, you know, I tell you more, but I don't want to spoil anymore, so if you're really interested in it, tick board game i guarantee you have a great cool fun time playing this game it's very fun i like it a lot that's the tick board game hip deep and evil next is bulldog dozer bulldog dozer is a really cool fun game and basically all you're gonna be doing this game is you're gonna be using this this um what do you call it um speed demon here the speed dog here and he's um i don't know falling asleep at the wheel of the bulldozer and uh, you're going to be building up, you know, um, spinning the spinner or rolling dice, spinning the spinner, and then it'll, you'll land on, you know, um, Bulldog Dozer use. And when that happens, you got to drop him in the middle right here from like a foot up high. And then don't worry about it. It's a good durable Tonka uh, Bulldozer. Very cool um, plastic toy. And it's going to be uh, dropping down here. And then he's going to be spinning around and then going towards either this way that way or that way you don't know where he's gonna go and he's gonna be knocking down a tower and if your tower gets knocked down you gotta start all over again and build up first person to build up their three level of tower wins but 
um, Fred the Foreman here, he can always uh, block the way of Bulldog Dozer. And Bulldog Dozer will bounce off of him and go the opposite way of whatever way he'll go. You never know. But that's just it. That's just the whole thing. That's just all the excitement of the game and suspense that you'll have while playing this game is not knowing where Bulldog Dozer is going to hit and strike next. So um, that's basically it. So you're going to be down at the site and players are trying to be the first to build a three-story tower out of the I-beams. But it's Butch's first day on the job, so he's going to be having a little trouble with the controls. So I think he had a few folks. Don't drink and drive. So when you set Bulldog Dozer on the board, nobody knows where he'll go. And he's going to knock down another player's tower or he'll wipe he'll, he'll wipe out yours, your own. So you got to watch out. But uh, if you could dodge Bulldog Dozer by using Fred the Foreman and to help you out, then you'll win this out-of-control construction game. And that's pretty much basically it. That's Bulldog Dozer. Now, these two fun games are like the most awesome games of all time when I just started getting into board games back in the day. That's right. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I started getting into board games when I started playing this game, and uh, I found a copy, you know, um, at a thrift shop for like two bucks. I picked it up. It was a little bit incomplete, so I ended up buying another one on eBay for like 14 bucks, you know, shipping included, and it was worth it, man, because uh, I got more parts for this game, but... This game is really cool. It got me into dungeon crawls and the whole wide world of board gaming because of the fact of going around the paths here and you're going to be picking up tokens and seeing what events take place when you pick up those tokens. You got to collect and go find the bombs in order to break into Shredder's uh, you know, headquarters there. And um, then you got to battle it out with, between the turtles and the, and the evil foot clan and uh, roll a dice and everything and have dice battles and stuff. And so all that you know, board gaming and everything and in, in, in packed in a small 10x10 10 10 game box. It's a really cool, fun game. I guarantee you have a great, cool, fun time. Turtle Power. Another Turtle Power riffic game is uh, Clash Alley, strategy board game of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this game, you're just going to be going around the board trying to, um, you know, um, complete different objectives. And you got to find your item that you have. So you're going to draw a card, right? And then you're going to have to find that item that's on that card. And then in between, you'll just be, um, you know, um, going on different missions in, in the terrain by stacking up the boxes differently every time, you know, to go around. And you, it's a multi-level board, which is cool. There's three ways to move. You're going to run through the warehouse or climb onto stacks and, uh, you know, um, you're going to climb on uh, stacks of boxes or leap onto enemies from the boxes so you know but you're gonna be rolling these dice here and these dice are gonna be um telling you what like run five spaces climb to or leap to attack but then you gotta play your cards strategically in order to win the game and uh that's basically it so you gotta find april retrieve the ai chip you know and pick up a pizza for example or grab the mutagen or um, on the way back or something like that, uh, the Turtles team up to battle the Krang. Krang and powerful pet mutants and the insidious Shredder in a maze-like warehouse. So, it's really cool. I like it. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Clash Alley strategy board game. And no, I didn't get this game because it's the same name as my uh, one of my favorite punk rock bands of all time, The Clash. I got this game because it's Clash Alley Ninja Turtles strategy game. The board game. So now, um, next game is Vampire Hunter. Now, Vampire Hunter, really cool game. You're going to be going around the board. It's like a dungeon crawl, too. This is another game that got me into board games. And what you're going to be doing in this game is using this here lantern for night and day. So, and it's going to give you, like, different ways. Like, uh, you, you, could, you could see in the dark or you could see it during the daytime. And you're going to be using it to... Um, you know, uh, be able to read different cards or read different spaces and see if you're filling a trap or something like that. So, you know, you're you're going to be going around this board here, and uh, and uh, just to be basic or something like that. I'm just going to just you know open it up halfway. If you want to see the rest, you got to get the game for yourself. You can get it for cheap online, pretty much, and uh, it's actually like like twenty bucks something like that. But um. It's it's well worth it, and uh, it's a really cool game. You get this really cool uh, lantern here, and then um, it, it turns the light on blue, or it turns the light on, you know, uh, 
see red and then uh blue for daytime when you push this down now it's gonna be blue now it's red and then when you do that you can read all the different spots so i'll just show you like a little example and then when you turn the lights off pretty cool stuff huh now now you can't see it now you do <laughs> that's awesome i love that stuff totally radical and you get these player market pieces here, and then you go around, and you got a dice battle, and you gotta lift up uh the uh tokens to see um if you get the sword, you get you gonna need equipment before getting into Dracula's tomb. Uh, I'm not gonna show you that though, that's a surprise for you to see. But on on the uh, inside this coffin is gonna be Dracula and ooh psych, I'm not gonna show you what it looks like. <laughs> but that's pretty much basically it. That's Vampire Hunter. I know it's upside down. Vampire Hunter. But yeah, so I more of that this game. You just gotta make sure um you know you gotta make your way you know within uh Drax's castle, find the monsters as you go, and you gotta find Drax before his his ship escapes and arrives uh, you know and defeats and you got you gotta um defeat him once and for all so you gotta defeat the ship before it gets into um you know uh whatever before it sets sail and that that that's basically with that game so but the board tiles and dice in this game magically alter when the tower lights changes from red to blue it's really cool i i totally recommend to get in this game um, it's the best setup of the game, and, uh, with the room lights on and everything, and then dim them, you can see, you know, I, as I showed you, when the lights are off. But that's basically it, you're gonna be doing that throughout the play, so you, you're never really in the dark. But you may want to leave one or two lights on, you know, so you can, you know, move around the room easily if you need to, so. But, um, you gotta make sure all the players are sitting close enough to be able to, to the game board to be able to see the changes and have fun. So, it's a really cool game. Vampire Hunter, the game. Alright, so one more, and then I'm going to get going. That's going to be the Escape of the Mummy. Okay, Escape the Mad Mummy game. And in this game, you guys spin this top with a, with a rip cord. Okay, a zip cord or whatever. And then uh, use the rip cord and uh, pull the cord and send the cube spinning. And it's going to tell you what to do and give you directions in the game. But you'll be going around this board here, trying to, um, you know, collect, you know, treasures... And bring him back and, 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 you know, to escape out of the, um, the temple, whatever. But don't be stuck in the mummy's tomb, because that'll take for days to get out. And I mean so, because I'm always getting stuck in that guy's tomb. And then, you know, he has me doing his laundry, washing his dishes, whatever, and, you know, doing his chores. It sucks. But until I get out, then I have some more fun, because then I'll be going around trying to collect all these treasures and make it out. But, um, you know, you gotta be rolling the dice and watch out. The Mad Mummy could, uh, you know, capture you. And he's mad. But it's a really cool, fun game. I highly recommend it. It's really cool. It's fun to play. Uh, that, that, that's basically it. So that's, um, Escape the Mad Mummy. All right, folks, I gotta go. So I'll see you around. And, uh, thanks for checking out my show. And, um, if you like any of the games I'm showing you, uh, just look in the menu. And you can always see... Yeah, you know, uh, the games that I have that I just showed you right now, you know, on my show. And I give out the instructions to the game and everything and how to play it and uh, all the other stuff that goes along with it. So, uh, see you next time, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.